In this video, we're going to focus on solving distance rate time problems, particularly those where you have a boat going upstream and downstream, or a plane that goes uh, with the wind or against the wind. So let's try this problem. It takes a boat three hours to travel downstream, that's uh, with the current, and seven hours to travel upstream. The speed of the current is four kilometers per hour. What is the speed of the boat in still water? Now let's make our distance rate timetable. And let's say that this is for the boat going upstream and this is downstream. Now we know the time it takes to travel upstream. That's seven hours. And the time it takes to travel downstream is three hours. Now we don't know the distance. We'll call it D1 for the distance upstream, D2 the distance downstream. But let's say if the boat travels from A to B upstream. Whatever that distance is, the return trip downstream is the same. So we could say that D1 is equal to D2. Now what about the rate? Let's say B is the speed of the boat and C is the current or the speed of the river or the water. So whenever you're going upstream, you're going against the current. So the rate is going to be the speed of the boat minus the current. When you're going downstream, you're traveling faster because you're going with the current. So the speed, the overall speed is the boat plus the current. So we know that D is equal to RT. So D1, the distance going upstream, is equal to the rate, which is the speed of the boat minus the current, multiplied by the time, which is 7. D2 is going to be RT as well. But R for D2 is the boat plus the current. That's the total rate, multiplied by the time, which is 3. And since D1 is equal to D2, B minus C times 7 is equal to B plus C times 3. And we're looking for the speed of the boat, B. But we know the speed of the current, so C is 4. But let's write the expression first. So since D1 equals D2, B minus C times 7 is equal to B plus C times 3. And C is 4. So B minus 4 times 7 is equal to B plus 4 times 3. So let's solve for B, the speed of the boat. Let's distribute the 7. So it's going to be 7B minus 28 is equal to 3B plus 12. So let's subtract 3B from both sides. So 4b minus 28 is equal to 12. And now let's add 28 to both sides. 28 plus 12 is equal to 40. Now our last step is to divide by 4. So b is 10. Now let's make sense of it. So the speed of the boat is 10 and the current is 4. So going upstream the boat is going against the current. So the rate is B minus C, or 10 minus 4. So the boat is traveling 6 miles per hour relative to the ground when it's going upstream. Now when it's going downstream, it's going to travel faster. The rate is going to be B plus C, or 10 plus 4. So it's traveling at a speed of 14 miles per hour relative to the ground. Now, this is how we'll know if the answer is correct. The distance traveling upstream should be equal to the distance traveling downstream. So D equals RT. Let's calculate the distance upstream. So the rate is 6 miles per hour, or not miles per hour, rather it's kilometers per hour. So 
So it's 6 kilometers per hour. That's the overall rate going upstream. And it takes 7 hours to travel upstream. So 6 times 7 is 42. So it traveled 42 kilometers upstream. Now what about downstream? So D equals RT. Downstream, the speed is 14. And it only took three hours to travel downstream. 14 times 3 is 42. So we know our answer is correct. The speed of the boat in still water is in D10. Let's try another problem. It takes an airplane four hours to travel 1,000 miles with a tailwind. It takes the plane five hours to make the return trip against the wind. What is the speed of the plane and the wind? So let's make our DRT table. So this is going to be upstream, downstream. Upstream will be the same as going against the wind. Downstream will be the same as going with the wind. So the distance is going to be the same. It's a thousand miles. The return trip is the same distance as the original trip going in the forward direction. Now the rate, let's say A is for the airplane, or let's use P for the plane and W for the wind. Going upstream is going to be P minus W. And going downstream with the wind, it's going to be P plus W. Now we know that it takes four hours with the tailwind. That's going to be downstream. And five hours against the wind. And that's going to always that's always going to be longer upstream. So now that we've filled the table, we need to write our expression. So D equals RT. Let's start with the equation for the upstream direction. So D is 1,000. R is P minus W. And T is 5. Now let's divide by 5. 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. So P minus W is equal to 200. Let's save this equation. Now let's use this equation again, but for downstream. So D, which is 1,000, is equal to R, P plus W, times T, which is 4. So let's divide both sides by 4. 1,000 divided by 4 is 250. So 250 is equal to P plus W. So now we can use elimination to solve these two equations. So let's add the two equations. 200 plus 250 is 450. P plus P is 2P. Negative W plus W is 0. They cancel. So if 2P equals 450, we could divide both sides to solve for P. Half of 450 is 225. So this is the speed of the plane. Now there's only one thing left that we need to do, and that is to calculate the speed of the wind. So let's use uh, this equation. So we know that 250 is equal to P plus W, and P is 225. So if we subtract both sides by 225, we'll get the speed of the wind. So W is equal to 250 minus 225, which is 25. Now let's make sense of the entire problem. So the airplane is traveling at a speed of 225 miles per hour. The wind is moving at 25 miles per hour. So D equals RT. So going, let's say, upstream, the speed of the plane relative to the ground is going to be 225 minus 25 since it's going against the wind. 
and the time it takes in the return trip against the wind is 5 hours. So 225 minus 25, so its speed is 200 times 5, and it travels a distance of 1,000 miles. Now for going downstream, it's going to be 225 plus 25 since it's going with the wind times 4. It takes 4 hours to, to go downstream because it's moving faster, so it takes a shorter time. So 225 plus 25 is 250 times 4 will give us the same distance of 1,000. So we know the answers are correct. So this is the uh, speed of the plane, and this is the speed of the wind.